so guys let's implement add at end function which will add node at the end of the linked list so i have written the definition for the function here so we'll dry run the definition so i'm assuming that other code is as it is that means linked list class is there node class is there node class is having two data members one is data other is self-referential pointer next and corresponding getter setter functions are present in the node class linked list class is having head as a data member and in the linked list class this will be the functions add at end will be there add at begin will be there all the operations will become functions now execution will start from the main function so i will try run this code so let's draw the diagram for this code suppose this is the boundary between stack and heap so this is stack and this thing is heap in the main function i am creating the object of linked list class first so linked list class is having only head so when the object is created head is allocated onto the stack frame of main function after that constructor is called and inside constructor suppose i am initializing head to value null after that after that add at end function will get called so i am calling the add at end function for first time l dot add at end and i am passing value 10 so this 10 value will be copied into this argument which is data now let's see what we, what is happening inside the add at end function so what i am doing i am taking one local pointer node asterisk new node so this pointer will allocate memory onto the stack frame of add at end function so new node pointer is here so suppose this is the stack frame for main function and this is a stack frame for add at end function after that equals to new node i am saying so equals to new node means dynamic memory allocation is there so memory will be allocated for one node so one node is having two parts under that one is data part other one is next part so new will return the starting address which is 1000 which is assigned to new node that means this 1000 value is stored here and this pointer is pointing to the allocated memory after that what will happen new node arrow set data inside bracket data so this 10 value is getting assigned to the data part so setter function will get called and null is assigned to the next part so from these three lines actually i am creating one new node and i am setting the data part and next part to appropriate values address of that is stored inside pointer new node after that i have written some if condition now why this if condition is there so when i call the add at end function there are two sub cases either i will call that add at end function for first time or i will call that add at end function for nth time that means when when i will call that function onto the first time there is no earlier linked list existing and if i call that function onto the nth time there is some earlier linked list existing so when when the function is getting called for the first time at that time head will have null value since before this only constructor is called and inside the constructor i have initialized head to null that head will be having null value so this if condition is checking whether the whether this is the first node that i am adding or it is nth node so if head equals to node if head equals to null then this is the first node so i am saying head equals to new node so what i am doing i am assigning the value of new node to head so this 1000 value i am assigning to head so it will come here that means this head will point to this node and after that else part will not get executed function is over so when the function is over what will happen it will remove all the local variables so for add at end this is the local variable as of now so it will be removed from the stack frame and at the end of function execution you will be having a linked list with single node after that the execution will come back to the main and now you are calling suppose add at end function second time so this 20 value will be copied here then first three lines will create one new node it will return the address of that data part is set and next part is set then on, on, on the second function call this condition will become false because head is having some earlier value so it will go inside the else part now inside the else part some code is written so as of now i am not running that dry running that code so what i will do suppose suppose this code is executed and at the end of the execution of this code the node is added second node is added into the linked list so this is the linked list 
एट द एंड ऑफ सेकेंड फंक्शन कॉल एट द एंड ऑफ थर्ड फंक्शन कॉल अगेन इट विल गो इन साइड द डेफिनेशन हियर वैल्यू इज थर्टी न्यू नोड इज क्रिएटेड विथ थर्टी एंड नल एंड से एड्रेस ऑफ दिस नोड इज थ्री थाउजेंड देन अगेन इट विल गो इन साइड द एल्स पार्ट सम कोड इज देयर विच विल गेट एग्जीक्यूट एंड इट विल एड द नोड at the end of the linked list so now suppose the function is getting called for fourth time so when the function is called for fourth time this value will be 40 and now let's dry run the else part also so what will happen now it will go inside the definition in the definition what i am doing i am saying node asterisk new node equals to new node so i am basically allocating one new node and address of that is stored in pointer which is new node so this is 4000 after that i am setting the data part and setting the next part data part is set with 40 value and next part is set with null value so what i am having now i am having one linked list here with three nodes and i am having one separate node which is which is there but it is not not linked to linked list now after that this if condition will become false and it will go inside the else part and now let's dry run the else part in the else part what i have done i have taken one more pointer node asterisk trav equals to head so this declaration of trav pointer will allocate four bytes of memory onto the stack frame of at at end function equals to head means value of head is assigned to this trav pointer so this 1000 value is assigned here that means trav is also now pointing to the first node after that some while while loop is there and while inside while loop condition is there so what is the condition trav arrow get next not equals to null so what is traver get next trav is pointing to first node traver get data is 10 traver get next is 2000 so values of data and next will be returned by getter functions so get next will be 2000 is it null no it is not equals to null so that means condition is true so when the condition is true it will go inside the loop and inside the loop what is written trav equals to trav arrow get next so this is very important statement this statement is used used to jump from one node to other so how how that will happen so let's see here what is what is written trav equals to trav arrow get next so what is the right hand side first trav arrow get next will give me which value trav arrow get next will give me 2000 value so this 2000 value i am assigning to which thing i am assigning that value to trav itself that means this 1000 is now overwritten with 2000 value that means now this trav is no more pointing to the first node but it is pointing to address 2000 which is address of the second node so this is how this statement is performing one jump from earlier node to next node so again it will go to the beginning of the while loop since it is a loop again the condition will be checked trav arrow get next equals to null get data is 20 get next is 3000 so it is not null so condition is true it will go inside the loop inside the loop trav arrow get next what is trav arrow get next 3000 will be assigned to trav itself so that 3000 will be assigned here that means trav is now no more pointing to the second node but it is pointing to the third node after that again check the condition trav arrow get next not equals to null trav arrow get next is null so this time the condition is false so the loop will be broken and it will come to the last statement last statement is trav arrow set next inside bracket new node so what this statement is doing trav is pointing to this node set next means it is writing into the writing into the next part so it is writing here what it is writing new node what is the value of new node new node is having 4000 value so this 4000 value is written here that means now this node is pointing to this node which is the last node so after that function definition is over so local pointers will be removed for that function so trav and new node these are the local pointers which will be destroyed so there won't be trav and new node and now you will be having link list with four nodes so this is how the execution is happening this is how when you when you call at at end function it is adding node at the end every time So let's implement this function. So in linked list dot cpp, first of all, let me include IO stream. 
because I am going to make use of cout scene in display function then I will include link list link list is user defined header so it will be in double quotes and then using namespace std so in link list h I have declared all the functions so right now I am writing definition for first function which is add at end so return type is void then class name is link list then scope solution function name is add at end it is taking int data as an argument now we have seen the definition so first thing is I will create a new node so I will take one node node pointer which is new node equals to I will allocate the memory new node after that I will set the data part and next part of this newly created node so new node arrow set data I will set it to data value and new node arrow set next will be set to null after that after that I will check if head is null because I need to check whether add function is getting called first time or it is getting called end time so we have seen that if it is called first time then before that head value is null which is initialized in the constructor so I need to do that thing also before I write this add at end function I have to write constructor in link list class and in that constructor I will make head null so here I will say head equals to null so declaration of constructor will go in the header file so it will be link list brackets semicolon now if head equals to null then head will point to the newly created node so here it will be head equals to new node we have already seen the definition else I will take one pointer for travel cell which is trav pointer so here one more pointer I will declare node asterisk trav equals to head and I will traverse till I do not get null in the trav arrow next so I will say trav arrow get next I have to say till trav arrow get next not equals to null I will move the trav pointer ahead so it will be trav equals to trav arrow get next outside the while loop I will say trav arrow set next inside bracket new node this statement will add the node at the end of the link list so this will be the definition of add at end function now I need to implement one more function which is display function so that I can cross check whether the link list I mean whether the nodes are getting added into the link list properly so let me implement display also so void is a return type link list is a class name scope solution display is function so in this display function I will display the data part of each node so one pointer I will need for travel cell purpose which I will initialize to head and I will display trav arrow data so it will be see out trav arrow get data and after I display the data part I need to go to the next node so here it will be trav equals to trav arrow get next so this thing I will do till I do not come across the end of the link list that means till I do not get null so till trav not equals to null that will be the condition and this will be the definition so this is how I will implement add at end function and display function so let me call the functions in main and I will check whether the link list is getting created so l1 object is already declared in main.cpp I will say l1 dot add say add 10 so let me add few more values 20 30 40 and at the end I will say l1 dot display so let me check whether it is getting run so I will compile all the dot cpp files so now first I need to go to the list directory and here the files are there so I will compile node.cpp then I will compile linklist.cpp and I will compile main.cpp there are errors so what are these errors
so one semicolon is missing here let me check it for linked list class yes here the semicolon is given now let's compile it and now still there are few errors okay in the main function it will be add at end so everywhere I have to say add at end and 34 line in linked list dot cpp here the semicolon is placed by mistake yes now it is getting compiled and if I run it I am getting the output 10 20 30 40 that means this code of adding node at the end of the linked list is correct so this is how you will add node at the end of the linked list so in the next video we will see how to add node at the beginning of the linked list. So thanks for watching the video. I will see you again in the next video.